one split second got it driving car. The cosmic commute. It was just another Monday morning. Richard merged onto the highway, joining the familiar sea of brake lights and impatient honks. He sighed, settling in for the usual tedious drive to work. Little did he know, this ordinary commute was about to become extraordinary. As Richard absent-mindedly changed lanes, it happened. In the blink of an eye, the world around him dissolved. The cars, the road, even his own body seemed to vanish. In that fraction of a second, John experienced something beyond comprehension. He was everywhere and everything at once. He felt the burning heat of distant suns and the icy void of space. Galaxies swirled through him, and he danced among the stars. Black holes whispered secrets of the universe, and he understood them all. In that instant, John was the universe, and the universe was John. And then, just as suddenly, it was over. John found himself back in his car, hands gripping the steering wheel. The traffic continued to crawl forward, oblivious to the cosmic journey he had just taken. His heart raced, and his skin tingled with residual energy, as if he'd been struck by lightning. As he continued his drive, Richard's mind reeled. What had just happened? How could a single second contain such vastness, such knowledge? He felt changed, charged with a new awareness of the interconnectedness of all things. Throughout the day, Richard couldn't shake the memory of that moment. He found himself wondering, what if he could access that state of being all the time? How would it change his life, his understanding of the world? As he drove home that evening, Richard looked at his fellow commuters with new eyes. He realized that each person around him had the potential for such an experience. Each carried within them the entirety of the cosmos, whether they knew it or not. From that day forward, Richard's daily commute became a reminder of the extraordinary nature of existence. In the midst of the ordinary, he had touched the infinite, and it had touched him back. And he knew that at any moment, in the most unexpected places, the universe might once again reveal its true nature to anyone willing to see it.